My name is Dennis. I'm a global traveler and I'm a writer. And what I've discovered in my writing is that people are interested in the story behind the character and the story behind the story. So I thought I would share behind the story of how I arrived at Western Vascular Institute. And it really happened in September 2013. I had had some water retention problems and what my doctor did was prescribe uh, water pills for me. But what you experience with fluid buildup is what I affectionately call dead legs. You're tired, it's hard to move at times, you just, my energy level just wasn't there. If you're traveling, like when I was in Europe, it was hard for me to get around. And uh, on the flight to Munich, Germany, I did not wear compression stockings and I had bad fluid retention in my, in my lower extremities after about two days and ended up at the Munich, University of Munich Medical Center. The doctor thought I was having a heart attack. Uh, so I had an echocardiogram. I had uh, the uh, ultrasound on the lower extremities. She gave me more water pills and I was on my way to Italy after Munich, Germany. <laughs> and she said, make sure when you get back you talk to your cardiologist. That's exactly what I did. Um, he did an echocardiogram and he also did ultrasound, gave me more water pills. So I went to my primary care physician for something and she looked at me and she said, you have a lot of swelling. Um, I think there may be another problem here. I'm going to send you to a vascular surgeon. And that's uh, how I became introduced to Western Vascular Institute. They did an ultrasound and Dr. Vranik, who I really appreciate because he speaks very plainly, he said, look, you're not gonna probably die of a heart attack. However, your lower peripheral veins are shot. The veins aren't closing. They open and close. Yours aren't closing. So I don't care how many water pills you take. It probably isn't gonna solve this. So he said, here's what we have to do. You have to wear compression stockings for Two months. After two months, went back to him and said, still have the same problem, and he said, okay. And I had my first ablation therapy on February the 6th. I'm having my last one today. So I am hoping that the outcome of this is that that fluid retention uh, dissipates, goes away, and I can get on with my life, which is what I enjoy at global traveling and researching and writing. Uh, and that I have the energy to do that. Physicians are trained to just uh, give you water pill prescriptions. Well, up to a point, that's okay, unless it goes on for a long period of time and that does not solve the problem. You need to get in and you need to be assessed properly by a vascular surgeon. And get assessed by people who do this, not twice a month, but who do this probably 10 times a day or 15 times a day at times, or on a Thursday, they'll do 18 of these. <laughs> you know, go, go to those specialists who know about veins and peripheral veins. I'm going to get this behind me. Next year, I'm going to the UK. I'm gonna spend some time in England, Scotland, Ireland. Uh, for anybody out there who's constantly living with this fluid retention, don't wait because it's not just about your life, it's about the quality of your life. At least it's that way for me. So I'm hopeful for a very, very good outcome with this.